Hi, I'm Matt Hagney with Exapta Solutions, and today we're going to talk about the main pin on the John Deere 506090 no-till drill openers. What happens, this opener is in pretty good shape, but you want to check these pins, and if you can shake this opener very much at all, uh, you've, you've got too much wear in the bushings and pin here, and the reason that can be an issue, this blade is supposed to run at a 70 degree angle. As that wears, and it's always wearing with the blade trying to run straight, it's uh, wanting to straighten out. So as, there, as you get wear there, the furrow gets narrower and narrower. And that's a problem because you need a certain width to try to get the seeds down in there. And also the boot is dragging much harder in, against the sidewall as that furrow gets narrower. Also your firming wheel and closing wheel are not going to track very well as that blade attempts to straighten out. So we need to keep this in reasonably good condition. Now the first time around, all it's needed is to take to loosen this bolt here, make a mark on your pin, and rotate it 180 degrees. That'll take out almost all the slop again, tighten that back up. So then you're good to go for a while. But the second time around, now you need to replace the pins and bushings. And Exapta is now a dealer for the Eryx pin and bushing kits from Australia. The Australians are very uh, particular about high quality and durability. So what we've got, instead of just steel on steel, this Eryx kit has uh, a Teflon layer in here. And what that gives us is a very nice smooth action here so that we're not wasting so much pressure uh, trying to overcome the resistance of that. It lets the opener move more smoothly again. These will last at least as long as OEM and uh, for about half the money. 